auditing Windows ports and services. Ports are numerical values that system services listens on for incoming and outgoing network traffic. Ports are usually enabled by installing an application or starting a service that runs on a specific port number. Services are programs that run as part of the operating system's process. They are divided into system services and application services. System services are directly connected to the operating system functions, for example, NetBIOS or the Network Basic Input-Output System, which is the network service that enables programs and services on remote systems communicate with each other. Application services are connected to built-in or custom applications installed on the system, for example, a web server service, which is activated when a web server application is installed on the system, such as IIS or Apache. Mail services, which enables the SNTP, IMAP and POP ports that are necessary for sending and receiving emails. Examples of applications that activates mail-related services includes Microsoft Exchange Server and HMail Server. Protocols control how data is processed between systems on a network. Common protocols include the Internet Protocol, which is a network-related protocol. The Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, which is a web-related protocol, and the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP, which is an email-related protocol. Auditors can use Nmap or Microsoft Port Query to verify the active or open TCP and UDP ports on local and remote computers. Nmap or Network Mapper is a free and open source program for network systems discovery and security auditing. It can be used to discover the hosts that are available in a network, the operating systems installed on those hosts, and the ports and services enabled on the discovered hosts. Some of the common ports and services in a Windows environment includes port 21, which is the default port for FTP or the file transfer protocol. Port 23, or the Telnet port, which should be disabled for security reasons as it transmits authentication details in clear text through the network. Port 25, for SMTP, which is associated with email processing applications, such as Microsoft Exchange Server or HMail Server. The DNS service on port 53, which is automatically activated when the DNS role is installed on a server, in most cases, a domain controller server. For a detailed list of common default Windows ports and the services associated with them, you can visit the Autolytics link. You can visit Autolytics.com to learn more about this topic and also enroll for the Auditing Windows Server Active Directory Security course.